Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Now we want to draw autographic production. Like I said, the first thing you do in drawing an autographic production is to draw your four cardinal points, just like I showed you in my earlier videos. Now I'm drawing this figure. I want to draw this figure in autographic production, right? Which is the same figure that has been translated here. So now let's start. If you look at this point here called point T, the arrow is facing this direction. So if you look at this direction, you are going to see this point here, right? Which is this point here. You are going to see this thickness here, which is this thickness here. And you are going to see this thickness here, which is this thickness here. Then you also see this center point here, which is this center point here. So we want to translate this drawing into this. This is an isometric, this is an orthographic, right? So let's start. Now the first thing, look for the entire length and the entire height. Because the elevation, the first thing you are drawing is elevation. Because it is in first angle projection. Because of this symbol that you are seeing here. It's in what? First angle, right? Now, I want to draw the elevation. In the elevation, you have to be focusing on what? The height and the length. So the length here is giving us what? 60. If you check here from here to here is 60. That means from this point to this point here is what? 60. Are we good? So you draw your 60 for the length. So I'll measure my 60. From this point here. This is my reference point. To here is 60. Right? And I'll make it grow. Now, the next thing we'll draw here also is the height. The height is from here to here. The entire height is what? That is 35. That means from here to this point here is what? 35. So my entire height is 35. So we'll come here. 35. Can you see that? So I'm going to use my set square and join it with my faint line. That is 35. So I've successfully got in my box. So let's see how we can move that. I've successfully got in my box, right? So if you look closely on this diagram here, I am having a thickness, which is this thickness here. And that is what? 8 millimeter thickness. So I'm going to measure my 8 millimeter thickness. Starting from 5. This is 10 here. If I move 2 backward, this is my 8. Is that okay? Now, if you look at the diagram, it's thickened. So I'm going to thicken this because I can see it. I'll thicken this also. Oh, good. Now the next thing you draw again here is um, the height from here to here is thickened, right? It's slant, but looking from far, you will see here, which is this point here you're seeing. So I'm going to move it from this top here because it starts from here. Can you see this point? So I'll move it here, but the distance between both of them is what? 8, right? So I'll measure 8 in both sides. I measure the 8 in both sides. So I have the 8 here. And I also have the 8 here. So I'm going to take it to there. And um, to this point too. And I'll close it up too. Because it's closed and the diagram if you check it very well. It's closed. And also it is closed. And here also it's closed. That is what we have here, which is this. So we successfully seen this part. We've seen this part which is it and here which is it. Now we cannot see here because here looking from the top. But we can see this guy here, right? Which is this guy here. 
Are we good? So what we'll do is, how can we get that guy? If you look at it very well, from the base of this guy here, this level, the same as this level. From the base, hmm, which is this level here. We're going to measure it upward. I mean 12 from here to the center. This is the 12 here. Measure 12 from here to the center. Are we good? So you measure 12 from this base here. I'm starting from one. This is twelve. All good. And I'm going to draw my line this way. That's my front line to the center. I my top. So let's look at that again. From here, this is 10, 10, 11, 12. So this is 12, sorry. This is the 12 here. This is my actual 12. That is the 12 I've mentioned. Now, if you look at it very well, you have to get the center of that line in order to be able to measure your 10 right so from that 12 i measure 10 upward 10 down but i need to get the center of the entire length so the center of this entire length here which is 60 hmm, so the center will be 30 and i'll move it up like this so this is the center here so I measure 5 up and 5 down that's what I'm going to do so I measure the 5 up and down to mark my 10 up 5 down 5 I'm going to use my T-square to just draw my imaginary line since I don't know where I'm heading let's draw it this way more like my construction lines. Are we good? Now the next thing we need to understand is this. If you look at this very well, you discover that from this point to this point is what? 18. And from 18 to the next point, from 18 here, which is this point, to this point is what? 22. So I'll take my meter rule. I'm going to measure 18 from this point. From zero here, yeah. so this is 18 here. Then I'll now measure 22 from that point here. So this is 20, 22. So hold them down. So holding them down is just from here. I will cover you up, and from here, I'll cover you up. I see if I'm taking it from up here. Then I'll close this point up. right so we have done that guy which is this we've bring brought this one out which is this man here and that is the center point so we measure from here to year five from here to year five from then our 18. now now if you look at this very well now here you discover that there is something that is in it that is penetrating beneath of it right so what I'll do is, if you look at the thickness, is what? 10 is square. But before I get to that point, I need to move from this ending here to the center, of which is 30. So I'm moving from the ending here to the center here, which is what? 30. So I'll measure my 30 from this ending here to get the center of that box. So this is 30. Mm -hmm. And I'll measure... 10 m um, 6 6 in between so this is my center point this is 6 and this is what 6 so we'll just use my hidden line so sure there's something we have to use this to represent our hidden line and this to represent our hidden line so we are done for that figure right so the next thing we're doing is I said after the elevation is the plan to shoot is the first angle. So the next thing we we'll draw is our plan. So if you can get your elevation correctly, the plan will be a walk in the park. 
So I will project all my line down from here. Project all my line down every point. Every point. Every point. Every point. Every point. Every point. Right? So, you look it from the roof here, from the plan, you're going to see everything like this. You're going to see everything like this. This four corner here, which is this like this. I'm going to take it around. So, one thing you need to know when you're doing the plan is that what? The plan does with what? The length and the width. So, the plan does with, deals with the what? The length and the width. So this is our length from this point to this point is our length then what is the width the width should be um 30 from this point to this point is 30 meaning that from here to here is what 30 so i measure the 30 Okay. So close it up. All good. Now, if you look at this very well, from the top, looking from the top, you see this thickness here, and that is what it. So I measure it from the top. This is the eight from the top here. Start from zero. So I measure it. This is my eight here. And I'll close it up. That is the thickness. If you look at it very well, that is the thickness eight here that we've drawn here. Eight. But if you look at this now, we want to draw these two guys here, which is these two guys here. So it is showing me already from the diagram. So I'll just take my compass, my C square, my C square, and I'll just drain here to here. And I'll move here, and I'll drain from here to here. All good. So the next thing is, if I'm looking from the top, I cannot see this hole here from the top here. So I'll show you the line to show that. So this is the hole here. So I want to show that there's a hole there. So I'll place it in line at this point. And I'll come here also. And I'll show it in line at this point. Now this one here, I need to show it in here. So how are we going to know where it is? We know very well that from the baseline here to the center of this square here is 15. That means from here, to the center of here is what 15. So I'm going to measure 15. So from 2, I'm starting from 2, this is 210, and this is what 15. And you see this, it is square round. If you see what they did here, they put it as 10 or square, right? So the, 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 the square that has the sides, all the sides are 10. So what I will do is I'll take this to be like my center here, like my center here, and I'll measure 5-5 five, five up, I'm going to measure 5-5 five, five up, so this is this guy, <coughs> I'll measure 5-5 five, five up, I'll place it here, 5 up, 5 down, what I actually need is this guy here from this center here because this is what we're having here then to the next guy center here and i'm going to close it up so and i'm going to close it up are we good to so successfully drawn out that guy which is this uh shape here now the next thing we'll do 
is to draw the end view and I said the end view is always on top it's always in front or behind the what the elevation so for me, for me to draw the end view I have to place my 45 degrees square, square on my T square and I'll move it until I get to the center here right and I'll draw my line this way right so I'll project all my points to this line for 5 degree to touch to touch to touch to touch okay. now I'll do the same thing here but first of all start with the top here just to create a reference point Move all this to that point. So we're having, right? So if you look at it very well now, the end view is looking at it from X here. So I'll see this four figure this way. And this is the four figure. If you look at this very well, this is the four figure from here. Now what? So what I will do, I'm going to join this from here. Now what? Hmm? I'll stop here. And I'm going to move this from here to this point. Right? And this one has come here too. I cannot see him. So I will use my dotted line to show what I cannot see. Why can't I see him? This is the reason here. If you look at it from here, you see here it's free. But inside, showing that there's a line inside like this. So this is the dotted line I'm writing here. And this dotted line too. Because I cannot see them from here. So this point to here is also a dotted line. Because if you trace it, the thickness. At this point here. So I've traced it from here to so this is it. In here. So I'll close it up. And I'm going to close it up too. Then, um, what am I doing again? This side is slant touching here, which is this here. This slant from this point downward. And this point, looking from here, is this point here. Yeah. I'm going to join them down with my thick line. Are we good? Now, if you trace here, other things you cannot see the hidden line. So you see this one here. If I trace it this point, this point will be hidden, and here will be hidden too. Go look at the thickness. So let me do that. You see, you, you, you. Then uh, you, 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 you. Can you see that? This is this. You don't see this if you're looking in from here. Then this one too, you will not see it located from here. So I will use my T square, trace it to this point, but at this point here to be hidden line. Here, here, here. At this point too, trace it. Here we go, hidden, hidden, hidden. And that is it for this figure. <coughs> so the next thing you do is just do your dimension. So. Oh. Oh, you have it.